Hey! The union budget for 2023 to 24 was announced in early February. Green growth is one of the seven major drivers in this budget. The budget provided 35,000 crore for priority capital investments toward energy transition and being carbon neutral. At the same time, Nirmala Sitaraman listed green growth among four opportunities that can be transformative for India in the run-up to 2047, the country's 100th year of independence. As of now, India ranks third largest energy consuming country in the world and third in renewable energy country attractive index in 2021. Last August, our government formally confirmed to the United Nations Convention on Climate Change that India will reduce the emission intensity of its GDP by 45% by the year 2030 compared to 2005 levels. India committed that 50% of its energy requirement will be from non-fossil fuel based sources at the same deadline. India will achieve the long-term goal of reaching net zero emissions by 2070. In order to achieve above commitment, green energy is the only way to go. As we know, there are many forms of green energy. In this video, let's discover the potential of the two most important green energies, solar and wind energy. Wind energy is one of the major sources of renewable energy in India, accounting for about 10% of the country's total installed capacity. As of February 2023, India has over 41.9 gigawatt of installed wind power capacity making it the fourth largest country in the world in terms of wind energy one major reason for the booming wind energy is that the cost of wind energy in india has been decreasing in recent years making it more competitive as compared with the traditional sources of energy According to the International Renewable Energy Agency, the levelized cost of wind energy in India has decreased by more than 80% over the past decade. Also, a strong support from the government with various policies and incentives in the country to encourage the growth of wind energy, including the introduction of a national wind energy mission, feed-in tariffs, and tax benefits is drawing lot of capital to invest in. The highlight of the wind energy is that in addition to onshore wind farms India is also exploring the potential of offshore wind energy. The country has identified several sites along its coastline for the development of offshore wind farms with a potential capacity of up to 70 gigawatts. Thankful to the abundant sunlight throughout the year, solar energy is another major source of renewable energy in India. As per the data of February 2023, it shows that the installed solar energy capacity has increased by 24.4 times in the last 9 years. Now, it ranks fourth for total installation, which is 60.4 gigawatts, overtaking Germany for the first time. By 2030, the major goal is to achieve 450 gigawatts of installed solar capacity. To fulfill the fast growth of solar module installation, Mr. Narendra Modi has given its approval to production linked incentive scheme for high efficiency solar PV modules. The second phase of this scheme, which was already launched on 21st September 2022, is expected to build 65 gigawatts of annual manufacturing capacity. Besides the PLI scheme, the government also introduced various policies to back up solar energy, including subsidies, tax incentives, and a national solar mission. India is also exploring the potential of floating solar power plants, which are basically the solar power plants that are installed on water bodies such as reservoirs or lakes. It's important to know that we have already installed several floating solar power plants with a total capacity of over 200 megawatt. But Even now the capacity is comparatively smaller. But do think about the massive water resources we have. This thought is enough to make us feel excited, isn't it? Green energy is surely one of the major factors which will lead the Indian economy and will contribute to its growth story. However, the sector is still faces challenges such as lack of adequate infrastructure and regulatory barriers. The government should have taken more industry demands like wind turbine generators device manufacturing electrolyzers and related equipments into consideration 
and they must have given a thought on reducing the import duty on different equipment parts initially.